So let's just start standing. Have your arms loosely at your side. And take a little twist from side to side, letting your hands kind of thud on your body, but in a really nice way. A little twist to the spine and a little bit of tapping to the body. Have I spotlighted me? I hope I have. Yes, I think I have. Okay, and then bringing your fingertips up and just tapping along the collarbone, coming into the thymus. I don't think I have spotlighted me, have I? Sorry. I'll do it now. Uh, spotlight for everyone. There we go. So tapping along the thymus. And then we're going to take a uh, star-like stance. So bring your arms out overhead, feet apart. So this is a power pose. There's a whole TED talk on power poses and what they do to your body. And we'll just start by taking a couple of breaths here. Reaching up, making some space. And then as you inhale, take your arms up above your head, reaching up tall. Turn your toes to point outwards. And we're going to take a little bit of a horse stance, so bend your knees, and take your hands behind your head. Just let the fingertips brush against each other as the elbows come out to the side and we drop down. And then as you exhale, very slowly, take your arms out either side. Palms pressing as if you were a superhero, taking the walls, keeping the walls apart. And then inhale, straighten the arms, straighten the legs. Bring the feet so they're parallel to one another. And as you exhale, you're going to come down into a forward bend, hands down towards the floor. Left hand stays down, right hand rises as you inhale. And exhale, both hands to the floor. Inhale as the left hand rises, right hand stays grounded, exhaling hands to the floor. Turn the palms to face upwards and inhale as you come up. Fingertips can brush towards one another. As if you're carrying a great big ball of energy in your hands, you're going to reach that all the way up. As it comes, your hands come in front of your face. You're going to flip so that now the backs of the hands rise. Coming all the way up overhead. And then exhaling, open the arms wide, taking your hands behind your back. And bringing your hands together, you might interlink your fingers. On the next inhale, lift the gaze, lift the heart. And as you exhale, take your hands down, take your crown of your head down towards the floor. Arms can come back behind you. Inhale as you gently come back up. Release the hands. And again, bring the hands together in front of you, palms facing up. Fingertips just brushing against each other as you come all the way up. Hands will flip as they go past your face, coming up high, and then opening up again into that star shape. Power pose. We're gonna do that a couple of times. Inhale, arms come up high. Horse stance, so knees bend, elbows bend, fingers brush together behind your head. On the exhale, pressing the walls away. Inhaling, straighten arms, straighten legs. Arms come up high. And exhale, forward bend, hands towards the floor. Left hand stays grounded, right hand rises as you inhale. Exhaling, hands to the floor. Inhale. Arms rise, or left arm rises, and exhale, hands to the floor. Turning the palms to face upwards, slowly coming all the way up. Arms coming up overhead, 
Exhaling, arms wide, round behind your back. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, forward bend. Inhaling, rise. And bringing your hands forward in front of you, fingertips brushing taking the arms up. This sequence is called the golden seed. Third and final time, coming up into a star. Bringing your hands together and down behind your head, elbows bend, knees bend. Taking the arms wide. Inhaling as you come up. Forward bend on the exhale. Left hand stays grounded, inhale, right arm rises. Transitioning across to the other side. Palms facing upwards as you rise. And circling round behind you as you exhale. Inhale as you lift your heart. And exhale, forward bend. Inhale as you come up. Feels so good. I feel like we should do another round. Let's go again. Inhale. Arms come up, creating a star, exhaling, bending the knees, taking the hands behind your head, opening out wide, inhaling as you come all the way up, exhaling wide leg forward bend. Inhaling, right arm rises. Exhaling, hands to the floor. Inhaling, left hand rises. Exhaling, hands to the floor. Palms facing upwards. Exhaling, arms round behind you. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, forward bend. Inhale as you come back up, releasing the arms. And palms face upwards. Let's just come to midway. Place one hand on the heart, one hand on the sternum. Step your feet together. Drop the eyelids. I mean, we could just do that sequence for the entire half an hour. And that would be enough. But we'll thread the meta prayer in here. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be free from suffering. May I be free from mental anxiety. May I live in peace and may my life be blessed with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free of suffering. May you be free of mental anxiety. May you live in peace and may your life be blessed with ease. May we all be happy. May we all be healthy. May we all be free of suffering. May we all be free of mental anxiety. May we live in peace and may our lives be blessed with ease.
Okay, and we're going to come down onto all fours. So it's a heart practice, but in the gentlest possible way. So we just bring your awareness to your heart as we practice a little bit of cat and cow. Inhaling as the heart moves forwards, exhaling as the tailbone tucks and the heart moves up towards the sky. So we're targeting our awareness with our breath on our heart space. Trusting the subtle realms of our body to know exactly what to do to move in the way that is most nourishing. Waking up the spine. Coming to centre, stepping your hands a little further forward. Hopefully you've got enough cushioning under your knees for this to be comfortable. So you circle your hips. Big, lazy circles. Make them feel as good as they can possibly feel. And then switching directions. And then coming to centre, take the weight to your left hand, reach your right hand up and as you exhale thread it beneath your left armpit turning your right ear to the floor, bottom stays high. Settling in with your breath here. This is called rolling panda, possibly the best posture name of the entire sequence ever. Press down through the left hand to inhale your way back up. Hands come together. My hands are still a little bit further forward. I find that more comfortable. Inhale, left arm rises. And exhale, thread that beneath the right armpit. Left ear comes to the floor. Bottom stays high. Press down through the right hand as you inhale back. Walk the hands even further forward. Drop both elbows down to the floor. Look ahead and lower your chest down towards the ground. Bottom stays high. If that's uncomfortable on your neck, just drop your forehead to the floor. That will ease it a little. As you press the palms into the floor, glide your shoulder blades down your back. Inhaling as you press down through the hands, lifting the heart, and walking back onto all fours. And you're going to lift the right knee out to the side, circle it back and round, and then up towards your arm and to the side. So it's a hip circle. Your hips, your pelvis is going to want to really move around to enable that. That's fine, but just do it with awareness and try to sort of hug into the midline whilst you do it. And then change directions. And we're still focusing in on the heart. The heart's really stabilising this pose. Just be aware of it whilst you circle the heart, the hip. 
And then switching sides, take a moment to settle into neutral as you feel how the connective tissue, the bones, the muscles, they all move around to stabilize you. And then switching sides, so left knee comes out to the side, circling it back and round, scooping it in towards the arm, and then back and round. Again, hugging to the midline. Awareness on the heart space, even here. And then changing directions. And then coming to center again. Notice that transition. As you come to a more stable pose, how all the muscles and bones adjust. And we're going to tuck our toes under, come into a little down dog. Take my jump off. And let's start by making it a twisty down dog, so knees can sweep beneath you from side to side. And then come to center in your down dog and do a walking down dog. So one heel down, then the other heel down. See as you press down through your hands, if you can edge your heart towards your knees a little bit more. And then bending both knees, push your sitting bones away. You get masses of, of length in the spine here. So it's like taking a little squat, breathing into your heart. And then straightening the legs. Then reach the right leg up behind you. Bend the knees, swivel the hips. Then come back to three-legged down dog as you bring your knee in to kiss your knee. So see if you can maybe touch your knee with your nose or maybe give your knee a kiss. For some people that's just an insane idea. And then reaching your leg back out into three-legged down dog. And we'll do the other side. Settle into a neutral place first. And then left leg rises. Bend the knees, swivel the hips. Inhale back to three-legged down dog. And tuck the knee in. Maybe give it a nose or a kiss. And then back to three-legged down dog. Coming to neutral, drop your knees to the floor. We're going to come and lie on our backs. And let's start with knees bent, arms at your side. Walk your shoulders away from your ears. Press down through the soles of your feet. Palms face the floor. Pressing the toes down into the floor. Get those big toes grounded. Find the pelvic floor and as you inhale, let the hips rise and let the arms rise overhead. And as you exhale, bringing your arms back down and your hips come back down. And bringing your awareness to your heart space. as you breathe and as you move. Letting your hips rest on the floor, hug your knees in towards you. And bringing your hands to your knees, why not do some circles here? And 
and then changing direction. And with ankles crossed, rock your way back up to sitting. And we're going to come and sit. Actually, let's come up onto our knees. And step your right foot forward. And then walk your foot across in front of your body. Let the knees stack on top of one another as the feet come apart behind you and you're able to sit down between your heels. Actually, I'm going to grab a cushion. Cushions are always good on a Thursday. Cushion or a pillow. So with the pillow, knees separate and the cushion just comes down directly behind you. So the floor is raised a little, holding onto your toes, taking some breaths. So I'm trying to listen to my heart, but to be honest, my hips are completely screaming. So I'm going to soften it off a little bit. See if you can come to the place where you can drop into your heart space here. And then bring your left elbow in front of you, 90 degrees. Take the right elbow over the top, palms come together. Elbows gently press forwards. Drop your chin towards your chest and breathe into the back of your heart. the arms. Come back up onto your knees, unthread your legs. So we're back on, all, on our knees, sitting upright. Left knee, left foot comes forward, walk it across, take it back, knees stack. Perhaps a cushion comes down to give you some support. As you sit between your heels, holding onto your toes. And then right elbow comes forward 90 degrees. Left elbow comes over the top, palms come together. Elbows press forward, chin drops to chest. Take some breaths into the back of your heart. Unraveling the arms, releasing the legs. You're going to come into child's pose, so sitting back on your heels, arms at your side, forehead to the floor, breathing into the back of your heart. And then reaching arms forwards, taking hands over to the right, pushing the left sitting bone away. Inhaling as you come back to centre. And then walking hands over to the left, pushing away through the right sitting bone. And then coming back to centre. Walking your hands in. We'll come and sit cross-legged.
And bringing your hands to your knees, sit up nice and tall. Let's take the right hand to the left knee, left hand behind. Inhale as you sit up, exhale as you rotate, feeling how your heart responds as you breathe into that twist. Inhale as you release, bring the right hand down, sweep the left hand up and exhale, take the arm overhead, planting the left sitting bone down to the floor. So lovely to find that space, that stillness, once you're in the shape. And then in that stillness, you get to recognize the movement that's there, the breath, the fluidity, the movement of energy. Left hand comes to right knee as you sit up. Right hand comes behind as you exhale and rotate. Releasing, left hand comes to the floor, right hand rises, and exhale over to the left hand side, keeping the right sitting bone grounded. Inhaling to center, bring your hands to your heart center. And then we're going to move the chest, move the heart over to the right as we complete the Metta prayer one more round. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be free of suffering. May I be free of, uh, of mental anxiety. May I live in peace. And may my life be blessed with ease. And then turning to face the left hand side, hands at your heart. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free of suffering, may you be free of mental anxiety, may you live in peace and may your life be blessed with ease. And then coming to centre. May we all be happy, may we all be healthy, may we all be free of suffering. May we all be free of mental anxiety. May we live in peace and may our lives be blessed with ease.